Brandon Huynh. Um, I'm a dancer slash choreographer slash artist slash whatever. I don't know, labels or whatever to me, but that's me. <laughs> Yeah, 2017 was a pretty amazing year. Now that I like look back and like think of uh, reminisce about it, um, I feel like I accomplished a lot. Um, I taught my first company workshop, which is like a huge deal to me because I've been taking company workshops since how, who long or like for however long, uh, like way before I was on the team. So. Um, you know, you work so hard in one thing for so long and then like it pays off um, at a point in life where you don't really expect it to. Um, it's just it's a great feeling and I feel like that goes with anything in life. Um, I feel like 2017 was also a year of me like really finding who I am as a person. So I feel like at the beginning of the year or like end of like tail end of 2016, I was like kind of knew which direction I was going to be as a person. But throughout 2017 was like when I matured as that person. So um, yeah, I have a better understanding of like who I am now. And uh, that definitely affects like my interactions with people, how I look at life, a lot of things. And I feel like how I look at life now is very like, I guess you could say go with the flowy. Um, yeah, I kind of just take things for what they are and nothing more. Um, I don't really set too many expectations for myself anymore. Um, solely because I just want to enjoy things in the moment for what they are. And so I just feel like life is lived greatly better, best that way for me. And yeah. My goals for 2018 is to travel more. Um, I feel like I used to travel a lot with my friends when we were like, in our more adolescent team, not adolescent, like 18 to 20, young 20 years. And um, I feel like adulting has just got caught up to us a little quicker now. So um, we def I definitely miss traveling a lot with my friends and stuff. So yeah, I just want to see the, see the world as much as I can while I'm still young, while I'm able to. Um, and hopefully maybe even like teach somewhere somewhere else other than uh, here in San Jose. I feel like I've only taught a few times. I taught a few times out of San Jose, but not many. So I'm definitely like, that'd be like awesome, an awesome experience just to like uh, travel somewhere and like also like do what I love to do, right? I feel like that's a lot of, uh, it's like best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, yeah, other than that, I just wanna keep doing what I'm doing, spreading my knowledge to the best of my ability to those who are down. Uh, I feel like I have a lot to offer. And so uh, just thankful for anyone who's like stuck with this guy so far. Super appreciate it. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know what it is, but like workshops for, tend to pull bigger numbers for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a reason, I don't know why, but um, maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. But uh, not that numbers are like important, but um, it's always great, it like fills my heart to see that uh, when I do get like a full room or a packed room, uh, and I'm sure anyone can like relate with this, like just anyone who's down to like try your stuff out and just like, you know, like experience your, your art and stuff, um, it really means a lot. Uh, it goes like such a long way to the artist or whoever's uh, in front. There's nothing more I can ask for than someone coming to like take my class and walking away with something. Like my main goal when I uh, teach a class is to have something to like instill within my students, whether it be dance related or like something they can take with them and apply to whatever they want to do in life. Uh, that's all I could really ask for. But um, like cherry on top is just when like people like like stay with me. I'm like oh. You like me that much, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think our, the three choreographers that uh, On One Studios has for Intensive are great. I feel like the lineup was very well thought out. They all offer like different things. 
Carlo, super big on movement, super like groovy sometimes. And I think like that, I'm super a big fan of like big movement and just like dancing, you know? So uh, I feel like that can be super beneficial for anyone who would um, want to like expand on that vocabulary. Jillian Myers, that woman can just walk into a room and just, the room is an empty room and then the room is like filled up with like her presence, right? She's so like, I don't know, she, every movement that she does like has meaning and um, she just carries this like, this presence with her, you know? And I feel like that's something that is very like hard, even for myself to this day, to like accomplish as a dancer. Having that performance, that like genuine look in your eyes when you're dancing, so yeah. And then lastly, Amanda Grind. I feel like everyone says this about her a lot, but like no one else can be like more in the pocket than Amanda Grind. So um, her musicality, her movement, timing especially, like she's a big, um, she's very, words, she's, she's great at that, you know? Yeah, so um, all three definitely offered a lot of different things. And um, yeah, I'm excited to like take all three of their classes, so yeah. 2017, peace out. 2018, come at me.